Bye. I'm here today to represent the W.R. Myers student body and to pay our respects to all of the people who have fought and are still fighting for the freedoms that we enjoy today. We would like to communicate our appreciations for the sacrifices that they have made for our futures. At the 11th hour on the 11th day of the 11th month, we gathered together in our communities uh, each year to commem commemorate those Canadians who served in the First World War, the Second World Wars, and the Korean Wars, and other military efforts. Unfortunately, this year we are not able to gather physically to remember them, but that shouldn't hinder our ability to honor them and reflect on what they have given us. As students, we should be especially grateful towards veterans and those who serve and have served. As students, we should be especially grateful towards veterans and those who continue to serve our country today as we experience one of the freedoms that they gave us each and every day when we go to school and get our education. We are able to show up, feel safe, and learn a variety of subjects from different viewpoints. We are able to develop and express our own opinions without constraint or fear, fear of being oppressed. We are allowed to receive a censorship-free education that allows us to form our own individual opinions. We can associate with who we want and practice whatever religion that we choose. We are allowed to openly criticize our government without fear of being condemned. These freedoms are a privilege given to us by the service members who risked and sacrificed their lives because they believed that these freedoms were valuable enough to die for. I am privileged enough to live in a time of peace and to never uh, have to be impacted by the effects of war, but only because of those who served. Many of them have never been able to see the results of their bravery, which is why we should take today as an opportunity to truly appreciate what they have given us. It is our responsibility to never forget their sacrifice and service, so I ask everyone to please take this day to remember. Spanning from hundreds of years ago to today, willing soldiers went to fight wars that would not stay, receiving thousands of prayers for protection, only to end in the deepest reflection. But the final tour complete, demons aren't afraid to hide, never really leaving, others keep it denied. A suffering soul, unable of feeling like a human being, concerned loved ones wish to help, but are unable of perceiving. Thoughts of genocide and prisoners of war, having something taken away, unable to restore. Although the external enemy vanquished, that thought has been filled with eternal anguish. 
Living a normal life, back at bay, every action a blur of grey. The hero is now remembered once in a blue moon. Thoughts fly by during one minute, an hour before noon. Why should you care, you think? One moment out of the day that makes you out of sync. Breaking you from your regular schedule, for the day that is supposedly special. My message to you today brings forth something everyone should obey. Honor the heroes, the breathing and the departed. Think of them fondly, and keep their sacrifices regarded. Although one day is set aside every year, it is not so hard to be a bit sincere. They fought for their country's safety. In return, we should remember them daily. Fields, the poppies born between the crosses, row and row. Child marker placed, and in the sky, the lark so bravely singing by, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead, short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow. We loved and were loved, and now we lie in, in Flanders, Flanders fields. fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high. If you break faith with us who die. We shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. Hi everyone, my name is Harjit Sajjan, Minister of National Defense for Canada, and wanted to talk to you before you watch this great Veterans Week video. I know it's been a difficult eight months, and I really commend all of you for doing your part to stop the spread of COVID. Every effort you make, big or small, to stop this virus is helping our country get through this tough time. So thank you very much for all you do. Remembrance Day is a time to reflect on our history, to think about the values that our veterans fought to defend, and to remember those who sacrificed so much to make the world a better place. Each and every day, the people who served in our Canadian Armed Forces are still working to keep you and all of Canada safe. They are the veterans of tomorrow and Remembrance Day is a time to honor them as well. I hope that you enjoyed learning about Canada's rich history 
through their experiences. Together, we will honor those serving today and remember those who served before them. So thank you for everything you do and a great special thank you to our veterans. I am proud to be one of several members of the Canadian Armed Forces who will talk with you today about the importance of remembering our veterans. As a member of the Canadian Armed Forces, I am part of a family, a family that honors those who came before us and a family that supports one another today. I remember the Carty brothers from St. John, New Brunswick. For these five brothers, duty was bred in their bones. Their father, Alfred, was a member of the number two construction battalion during the First World War. Rather than follow in their father's footsteps and join the army, and despite regulation restrictions in place for black people serving in the military, the five brothers took to the sky and became members of the Royal Canadian Air Force during the Second World War. The youngest of the brothers, Gerald, became one of the youngest commissioned officers of the Royal Canadian Air Force at the age of 19. That is just one example of members following in their parents' or grandparents' footsteps. I also remember the thousands of Canadians, like the Cardi brothers, who have fought to defend the country we love, to help make the world a better place. I am in the Canadian Armed Forces, and when I remember, I think of those who fought in Afghanistan. Of sailors who prevented drugs from entering our country. Of aviators who protected the North American airspace. Of members who gave medical care to people who had never seen a doctor before. Some members were injured while others lost their lives. Families lost a spouse, a mother, a father, a son, a daughter, a brother, or a sister. And I remember because I hope that in the future, on this day, someone remembers me. We are the latest generation working to keep our country safe and free. You may even know someone who is part of the military family. Parents and grandparents of you or your friends who fought or continue to fight for our freedom. On Remembrance Day, we honor the stories of our veterans, from invigorating victories to demoralizing defeats. Not everybody earns a medal in wartime or makes it into the history books. But every last one of the 8 million sailors, soldiers and aviators who answered the call during the First World War, the 1.1 million Canadians who served in the Second World War, and the tens of thousands of Canadians who served in Korea, Afghanistan and in other missions around the world, has a powerful story to tell. Each of these stories share a common theme, determination determination to fight for freedom and for peace, despite the hardships and personal sacrifices required. Because that's what true heroes do, and they can be found in every generation. Heroes like Captain Nicola Goddard, she was only 26 when she gave her life in Afghanistan in 2006 to help create a better future for people of that country. She was the first female Canadian combat soldier killed in action. She died in a firefight as Taliban forces launched an assault on the city of Kandahar. It's thanks to people like Nicola that today we live in a strong democratic country that guarantees our rights and freedoms. Their heroism is the reason Canadians enjoy a high standard of living and quality of life. It's also why Canada has been a leader in keeping the peace around the world. Canada has sent more than 100,000 forces members to participate in over 66 United Nations missions around the world. Whether it's abroad or on home soil, we can be counted on to keep Canadians and our country safe, just as our veterans did. And that's the link that ties today's military members to those who came before us. We are all part of Canadian family, and we are all in this together. No matter where we're needed, here at home or beyond our shores, dedicated Canadian Armed Forces members are ready to help. We remember that there are still wars ongoing. And people still need help. And that's why I remember. I'd like to ask everyone to please rise. There shall grow not old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them.
They were young as we were young. They served, giving freely of themselves. To them we pledge, amid the winds of time, to carry their torch and never forget. We will remember them. We will remember them.